Hi, my name is Kaylee Nelson. Hello, my name is Hannah Peets. And today, we will be showing you our presentation entitled, T-Shirt to Rug. Each year, more than 14 million tons of clothing are thrown out and sent to landfills. In 2018 alone, more than 17 million tons of textile waste ended up in landfills. Not only are these numbers terrifying, but it takes an average of 200 years for fabrics and textiles to decompose. With this in mind, my partner and I chose to base our FCCLA project on the upcycling of t-shirts. We wanted to find a way for people to recycle their old t-shirts and help lower the amount of thrown out textiles. The plan was to find a way using the FCS skill of sewing to turn donated t-shirts into something useful again. And after researching different ways to use real, reused old t-shirts, we stumbled across a video inspiring both of us. In the video, it was demonstrated how to take old t-shirts and turn them into rugs. In a few easy steps, it was possible to make a beautiful rug from old t-shirt scraps. First, taking an old t-shirt, cut it into one and a half strips horizontally. This will approximately make 10 strips. Next, take four strips of t-shirt to build your loom into a star pattern. To build the loom, divide the hula hoop into even sectors using all four strips of the t-shirt. Now take the piece of the t-shirt and create a slip knot into one arm of the star. Next, Weave the strips of the t-shirt using an alternating up-down pattern, making sure to only double motions when necessary. Repeat this motion, adding more strips through slip knots when needed until the rug is the desired size. Once completed, cut one end of the last strip and tie it to the rug. To remove the rug from the hula hoop, cut one end of the loop and tie the open ends to the rug, making sure they are tight enough to ensure that the rug will not fall apart. After completing a few of these t-shirts rugs, we were faced with the issue of where to put them. Thankfully, we were able to use the FCS room and put them in here as decorations. When first deciding to do this project, we both knew that we would have to schedule around homework, classes, after school functions, and COVID restrictions. Keeping this in mind, we did our best to set time aside to work on this project. Between staying late after school and meeting over weekends to work, we both did our best to complete this project before our presentation date. When the two of us had first begun this project, it was November of 2020, and now we have officially completed it in January of 2021. With the completion of our project, and although the circumstances may have been strange, we are ecstatic to have officially completed this year's FCCLA district competition. While we were calculating the final cost of this project, we came to a realization. Since all the tools we used were on hand, and all t-shirts we used were donated, we didn't spend a penny while making this presentation. In conclusion, my partner and I chose to revolve our project around the idea of upcycling t-shirts by turning them into rugs. We were able to complete our goal and look forward to finding other ways to upcycle clothing in the future. We hope our FCCLA project can inspire those to find creative ways to recycle objects and turn them into something creative in order to further protect our planet. Thank, Thank you. you. And now, we will answer the two evaluators' questions. The first one is, what is one skill that you learned or improved upon during your project that you will use in school next year or in your future career? One skill I improved on was time management in the crafting department. I learned how to adjust the project and get it done at a faster pace, yet neatly so. As we know, we might be the only ones living creatures in this entire universe. If we destroy our planet, we will destroy all life within. I want to do my share in protecting this earth. Personally, I have always been looking for ways to recycle and take care of our planet. While researching this project, I learned just how much waste is spread throughout the world and just how it affects the planet. This project was only a small step for my future to look for ways to slow the pollution of our planet Earth and its inhabitants. Our second question is, what obstacle caused challenges in your work and how did you address them? For me, the biggest issue was finding a way to stay safe during the current COVID-19 pandemic. In order to keep our friends and us safe, we both had to make sure that neither of us were showing symptoms or had been recently quarantined while we were together to work on this project. By following the guidelines, we were not only able to see each other, but complete a competition that both of us can be proud of. Getting time to do the project itself was difficult. Finding the time to get together was hard to do while staying on top of schoolwork, but other than that, it was finding the correct tools. 
Corona, as Kaylee said, was also a massive challenge within. 